Great Dramas, hope you're doing well. Today I'm trying a sample that was given to me by Shane, Whiskey Dad, uh, Australian whiskey blogger, bloody nice guy, turned up here uh, on his way through from doing a few weeks around Scotland, popped into my office for a few whiskies on his way back to Manchester Airport to fly home. And in doing so, he brought a little present, which was a Lark Classic Cask sample bottle. And this is at, I think, 43%, and it is... Oh, it doesn't tell me how old it was. Damn. Um, but, either way, I quite like the glass on this. Oh, that's a weird kind of circular thing going on. Nice. Um, I've already poured it to save time. And Shane, by the way, if you haven't checked out his blog, Google Whiskey Dad, Shane, and seriously, fantastic. Such a nice guy. I uh, couldn't recommend his site more enough. He's... Um, couldn't recommend his site enough. The stories, the way of uh, kind of verbalizing uh, what he's doing uh, in the world of whiskey and just trying to take a passion and bring that to the people. Really, really impressive. And yeah, great stuff. And cheers for the sample, Shane. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. So on the nose, quite floral with a fruit juice twang to it, if that makes sense. Like an apple juice. Uh, kind of twang. There's definitely some stewed peaches in there, a bit of plum action going on. It's like a fruit salad in a whiskey. A 43% ABV fruit salad. Now, can't we all get behind that? A bit of vanilla, a bit of oak character too. Mmm. Palette is soft, it's smooth, it's sweet, and it's fruity, and it is brilliant. That, mm, just easy drinking, really easy drinking. Um, I've tried a few Tasmanian whiskies over the years, mostly from Sullivan's Cove, uh, big fan of those guys, and they're always great. Small batch, but they just nail it every time. I've got no idea on age, on batch volume, on anything about it. And I deliberately didn't ask Shane this because I wanted to experience it before thinking about it, if that makes sense. This is really nice. And if this is my, this is actually my first sample from the Lark Distillery. And if this is what they're producing, I cannot wait to try more.